cup of coffee, then I'll... Welcome back to coffee time. Let's hope my throat holds out. Well, first of all, I've missed you. So, how could I miss you, right? This is video, it's going from here to there. Well, as many of you know, and a lot of you probably don't understand, I get a lot of emails and messages, but I get a lot of emails on these where I get constructive criticism, a lot of really positive, supportive comments, a zillion questions, and Obviously, if I'm not able to do videos because <clears throat> I have no voice <coughs> or if I'm sick, then those taper off. And I like that interaction and I've missed it. So yeah, I can, I can miss you, right? You know who you are. Particularly, I want to thank Patreon viewers, but I've also got regular supporters that are not Patreon viewers. And... Um, it makes a world of difference for me, so thank you, and yeah, I missed you. Oh, I've been sick, right? Once again, I get something like a flu that takes three or four days to get over, and I get congestion in my lungs, and that takes week after week after week after week. <coughs> and the doctors tried various kinds of medications to get these lungs cleared, the good news is, unlike back at the beginning of the year when it turned into pneumonia, this time there's no infection. There's just this endless congestion that causes me to cough 24 hours a day. <coughs> you wouldn't believe how many cut clips I have to do on these videos to get rid of the coughing or it would drive you crazy like it drives me crazy. I can't sleep at night because I'm coughing all night and of course it tears up your throat. So even though I don't have pneumonia, it's, it's, it's a curse. And uh, I'll be hitting in the next video some information on that. As a matter of fact, what is the next video? I'm going to go into some detail on altitude, particularly altitude in Cuenca. And I actually may be able to bring something to you that hasn't been really discussed before uh, to give you something to think about. The worst part of this is when this hits and my lungs won't function right, I can't breathe, I can't get enough oxygen, and so I go around dizzy and you have no energy. If you can't breathe, it's like you don't even want to walk. It's uh, it really sucks. So, um, got to get to the bottom of this, got to find a solution. When I was in Hinon, I never got the flu. And even if I did, it's a thousand feet lower. But here, there's just a lot of people around. And um, it's easy to get the flu. There's been a lot of flu, almost epidemic running through. And of course, I have to catch it. So from... Uh, before Christmas to today, let's we'll say about a period of about eight months, I've had three bouts of the flu and almost nonstop bouts of lung congestion. Prices! Now I've mentioned this recently over the last month about changing prices. Prices for the better. Not only changing prices, but product availability. I'm really enjoying that. It's not coming fast enough for my taste, but if you come here now, it's a world of difference from a few years ago. And all for the better, all positive. But if I had a wish, this is not a secondhand store culture. I mean, there's no Salvation Army or my kids used to call it Starvation Army. One of their favorite places to go on the weekend, by the way. But secondhand stores are really useful. And it just isn't a thing here. Now, there's been a couple enterprising gringos that have set up some secondhand shops 
consignment shops is what they really are. And here's the downside. Because they're consignment, they don't really set the price. The person selling it, who will never meet you, is setting a price. And then on top of that, in order to keep the business going, they have no choice but to charge something for the service. The problem is the people that are putting prices on the consignment items who never have to meet you are putting really high prices on. And so by the time you're done, a lot of things you could just go buy new for sometimes even less. It's really tough to find deals there. And so you can go a few times and almost feel like you're wasting your time and just don't want to go back. The upside to it is that sometimes there's availability on, let's say you wanted a uh, Bose home theater system. You're not going to find that anywhere around here, but you may find it there. Uh, sadly, you may find one that's a little beat up and costs as much as a new one, but it can be there. So I'm rooting for these, these shops. I just wish that they would be more realistic with the people bringing the items and tell them that price is too high. But it is what it is, right? Don't we just love that cliche? Sunday news. What's going on with the Sunday news? Well, over the past couple Sundays, when I haven't been able to talk anyway, I've been reading comments, and it's almost a 50-50 split. Now, there is a misunderstanding. Well, why are you wasting your time, and I don't want to watch that video because you're just taking it out of the headlines of the newspaper or Cuenca High Life, and, you know, I can read. I've probably already read it, and what's going on? Well, if that's what I was doing, I would completely agree with you. That's where I get the basic premise, because it is the news. But then I spend time having conversations with people that I know, doing some digging, trying to find out if the opinion I have is correct, or if I don't really have an opinion, is there more to that story? And so when I do the news, I put in my comments on that. So it's kind of like news and commentary. It's the commentary part that takes time. And those little news segments that are 10 minutes long, I spend several hours preparing for them, maybe more than that. And so if I don't really have a lot of interest or if it's 50-50 flip a coin, I don't see any point in doing it. So for the people that really enjoyed it and wanted it, I'm sorry, but if it's not enough of you, uh, there really is no point. And frankly, it's one of the things that I do that I get some negative feedback, negative comments on, and I just don't need that. And so, um, you know, they want to complain to me because they don't like something that happened in the news. Or... I get comments that somehow, no matter what the headline is, they want to turn it into American politics and somehow it goes back to Trump. I don't need that kind of crap. It's ridiculous. I mean, I don't care who you supported. I don't hate you either way. But apparently, if anybody out there likes Trump, then you're the enemy. And it can get kind of nasty. So um, I don't want to be any part of that crap. It's childish. So at this point, while I may introduce it, but at this point, I'm going to stop doing that news segment. So it brings up a somewhat related topic. What's going on with the likes? Now I mentioned, I think in the last coffee time, about the people, the couple people that we're going around putting dislike on um, videos that I do thinking that they're going to hurt me. And the way the, the, the way the algorithm functioned at that time, those do hurt. And so I mentioned it. 
And so lo and behold, what happened is the worst troll that I have went through literally every single video. And any that he hadn't already disliked, he disliked. So I had a string of 20, 25 videos that had no dislikes. And right after that video, it was dislike, dislike, dislike. And on a couple videos right around then, apparently he got friends involved. I had the most dislike on videos one, from any I've ever done. So I had this massive increase of dislikes over all of those that never existed before. I mean, talk about jerks. If you don't like the videos, don't freaking watch them. It's not for you, but you, it's like you, they had nothing better to do than to try to cause somebody trouble. Well, here's the upside. I contacted Google, who owns YouTube. And in the past, I've contacted them and never get an answer back about various things. In this case, I actually got a response. I about had a heart attack. But I pointed out the situation, what's going on. I've got a couple trolls. This is what's happened. I did this video. All of a sudden, I got all these dislikes. And it's hurting my algorithm. The algorithm that I'm concerned with is simply you being able to be notified or, or know about or find these videos. Because YouTube is becoming very aggressive in promoting certain videos and hiding other videos. And I don't want to fall into the category of hiding. I'm already partially there just because of the size. So they responded. And I'm still a bit in shock, but they said, we looked into this. You're right. It's a few people. We get it. They removed it, the dislike portion from my algorithm. It no longer makes a bit of difference. I don't know how long it'll stay like that, but to you couple trolls out there, dislike to your heart's content. I don't care. If you really want to watch a video that you hate that much, then you're just an idiot. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know a better way to say it. But, um, or maybe you don't even watch. Maybe you just decide to go and dislike because you got nothing better to do. Maybe you got a whole list of people that you go and dislike. YouTube's on to you. Um, they even mentioned something about potentially canceling accounts. and But I don't, I mean, if they've removed it from the algorithm, I have no reason to further complain because that was the only thing I cared about. So that's out of the picture. Related to this, I got a uh, email with somebody asking me, is that affecting your earnings? Now, to those who don't know, after a period of time, in my case, it was over a year, YouTube will start sending you some money. It has to add up to at least $100 or so they don't send it. The most I ever got out of YouTube was a couple hundred dollars. But after about a year, simply because of the volume of the views, I started to get on a somewhat regular basis, $100 a month. Sometimes it would skip to two months and then be a hundred and a half, and that one time went up to 200. I haven't pulled a lot of money out of YouTube, obviously, but it was nice, you know, it's a nice surprise to get that. However, recently, and it has nothing to do with those dislikes, it has to do with all the changes going on with YouTube. Some of my favorite YouTubers have tens of millions of subscribers. They put up a video and they'll have a million views in a day. And the money they received used to be a lot of money, made them wealthy. And now they can't even live on what they're getting. YouTube is basically trying to keep all the ad revenue for themselves. That's what it really boils down to. And it's generated off of ads. It's affected me on my teeny weeny scale in that instead of getting about $100 a month, I've dropped down uh, pretty dramatically over the past month or so to about $23 a month, which means 
I won't see anything from YouTube for five months and then I'll get a hundred bucks. So instead of a hundred dollars a month, I'll go five months before I'll get a hundred dollars from them. All the while, they're still receiving the ad revenue. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but eh, what are you gonna do? And that's why things like the Patreon account have become huge, even though it's not a huge amount, it's become huge to me because an extra hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars along the way now makes a really big difference. So the likes, the dislikes no longer matter. The likes are still in the algorithm, although they confirmed, because I asked this question, they confirmed that I really need to have somewhere above 100 likes for it to kick in. And I usually get 20, 30, 40. So keep hitting the likes if you like them. If you don't like these videos, please just stop watching. Just stop watching. I don't put them out to make you miserable. I put them out to share what's going on in my life here and to give information. So that's it for coffee time. The next video that will be out in a couple days will be on altitude. And I hope you like the quick videos I did my trip in Colombia. I couldn't talk, but I tried to put some, uh, some subtitles, some comments on there. Um, let me know how you like that kind of video. So, I'll see you soon.